What about you? Robbie from Primary Lawns, lawn care company based in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Today, we're at a before and after of a lawn renovation that I did a month ago. This is a lawn that we aerated and scarified on the 23rd of March. Lockdown day in the UK. Now, usually I'd expect a lawn to recover a bit faster than this one. There is some scar marks left in this lawn, but it's been unusually dry in April and we have had hardly any rain at all for the last three or four weeks. There's hardly been a drop of rain and that's really, really unusual for Belfast because we're known for being so damp here in Northern Ireland. So let's have a look at this lawn. Has come quite, has come back quite well, but there are some just light scar marks, but these will fill in as soon as we see a bit of rain. I can't believe we're getting into April and very soon I'm going to be recommending the customers to start getting their lawns water and get, get the, the sprinklers out to get the most out of their lawns. This is going to be a lawn renovation before and one month after. Let's run the intro. Right guys, welcome back. Just want to show you something, a little bonus tip here. I haven't planned to talk about, haven't planned to talk about this, but I, I said in, before the intro about the lawn needing watering. So you can see here, I was just standing here, the grass hasn't popped back up. That's a pretty good indication that the lawn's under stress. As I say it hasn't rained in the last three weeks. Generally, if it's rained, if the lawn's had enough water, the grass will just pop back up again. But if you walk on it and you can see your footprints on it, then it's time to get the sprinkler out and give your lawn away watering. So the best times to water your lawn is first thing in the morning or last thing at night. If you want to water your lawn, give it a real good soaking. A real heavy soaking is better than lots of little soakings because it gets the water right down in. Another tip is if you get a sharp knife, a kitchen knife, and if you push it down into the soil, if it's hard to push down in, or if it comes out all dirty, then the soil is pretty dry and could do with the watering. Whereas if you push it down into the soil and it comes out nice and clean, then the soil is damp. Another little bonus tip I give for you guys, I recommend you use an oscillating sprinkler. That's one that goes forwards and back. If you put a beaker underneath the flow, whenever that beaker is filled, then that's a good way to tell your lawn's had enough water and it's time to move it on to the next spot. So that's just a bit of a bonus tip for you. So let's get back to the video, the lawn renovation video. The single best thing that you can do for your lawn is aeration. It's the process of making holes in your lawn. The top reason we aerate lawns is because of compacted soil. The type of aeration we're doing today is hollow core aeration and that's where it pulls out a little plug. Most of the lawns I deal with in and around Belfast are clay soils and this is especially a very common problem on clay soils where the clay particles stick together in the rain and then they dry out together in the sun and it creates solid layers within the soil. Scarification, the process of moving dead, unwanted material that's built up in your lawn. Thatch, it's an organic layer just below the surface of your lawn and it's naturally occurring.
it's a layer or organic material consisting of dead and dying and living stems and roots and leaves that are lying on the surface of the soil. I recently did a video on moss control and why I put the moss control on afterwards. So if you want to know more, make sure you check out that video. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button down below. It really helps me out and it helps me grow my channel. Subscribe for more content like this make sure you hit that bell icon so as you don't miss out on any future video. Thank you for watching.